Arsenal has just found the perfect striker for half the price of Victor Gyokuris. What will Mikel Arteta's decision be? And journalist Fabrizio Romano reveals a bombshell about Arsenal's £52 million target. All this and much more can be found now with the latest Arsenal news directly from the Emirates Stadium. But before that, if you're as passionate about Arsenal as we are, don't waste any time and subscribe to our channel right now to stay updated on everything happening with the greatest team in the Premier League. And without further ado, let's dive into today's top news. Arsenal have now been handed the opportunity to swoop for one prolific goalscorer currently starring in the Copa America. Arsenal are known be on the hunt for a new striker. Mikel Arteta is keen to bolster his strike force in this summer transfer window. The Gunners have already tasted disappointment in recent weeks when it comes to pursuing potential acquisitions in this part of the pitch. Arsenal are now working on a deal for sporting striker Victor Gyokuris. However, the Swedish forward will not come to the Emirates Stadium cheaply, with the Portuguese outfit said to be demanding a fee of £75 million. Another option has now come onto the market, available at less than half the price of Gyokuris, who Arsenal have shown an interest in before. Arsenal handed chance to sign Jonathan David amid Victor Gyokuris' chase. Jonathan David is currently strutting his stuff for Canada in the Copa America. The 24-year-old came into the summer tournament in excellent form and will be keen to impress on the biggest stage. David was prolific for Lille last season. In 47 appearances for the French outfit, across all competitions, he racked up 26 goals and 9 assists. Arsenal have shown an interest in signing David before, and he would certainly be an interesting option for the club to consider this summer. There are still rough edges to his game, but he is a clinical finisher and a powerful presence at the top of the pitch, and he offers real pace. Always willing to press and work hard off the ball, and capable of playing a slightly deeper, more creative role, as well as as an out-and-out -out striker, David would be an ideal tactical fit for the Gunners. He could lead the line alone, or even work in tandem with Kai Havertz. According to TalkSport, Arsenal, Tottenham Hotspur, and Manchester United have now all been offered the opportunity to sign David for just £30 million this summer, as he is entering the final year of his current contract with the League One outfit and is now keen to test himself in the Premier League. Should Arsenal sign David or Gyokuris? Both strikers could be real stars for the Gunners. At this stage, Gyokuris appears to be the club's top target, and his extraordinary form last season places him amongst the best goalscorers in Europe. Whether he can translate that level across from the Portuguese top flight to the Premier League remains to be seen, though. Equally, David's reduced price tag and potential to improve could easily turn Arteta's head. Arsenal transfer target Nico Williams drops, very strange, response when asked about his future. Arsenal have been credited with an interest in Nico Williams, who would address this issue. The athletic Bilbao star can operate on either wing, so would compete with Saka, and well as the likes of Leandro Trossard and Gabriel Martinelli, for game time at the Emirates Stadium. Williams has a £43 million release clause, and would be an exciting addition to Arteta's ranks. However, there are certainly question marks over whether the 21-year-old is open to leaving the La Liga club. Williams is currently impressing for Spain at Euro 2024. He produced a sensational performance against Italy last time out, showcasing his pace, flair, and dynamism. In the wake of that display, the 16-cap international has been questioned about his future at club level. As quoted by Mundo Deportivo, Williams told Press, I have renewed with Athletic, I am comfortable and happy, referring to the new deal he penned with the Spanish outfit in December. Williams then added, It is very strange that you ask me these questions. Of course, it is understandable that Williams wants to focus on the Euros for now, and won't be drawn on transfer talk by the media. However, if the Gunners are serious about pursuing a deal for the player, then they won't be put off by his latest comments. However, Arsenal need to ascertain quickly if Williams is indeed set on staying with Athletic Bilbao or not, as the North London club can't afford to waste time this summer with doomed pursuits. Should Williams be a top target for Arsenal? There is no denying that Williams would represent something of a statement signing, but there is an argument that he ought not be a top priority for Arsenal. After all, a central midfielder is now top of Arteta's shopping list and the club are also in need of a striker. Arsenal have been linked with a number of forwards, many of which may well prove easier to tempt to the club. Fabrizio Romano reveals plan for Xavi Simon's future amid Arsenal interest. Arsenal have been credited with an interest in the £52 million Dutch playmaker. 
According to transfer journalist Fabrizio Romano, reporting on X, Simons has now made a decision about his future. The 21-year-old has, formally informed Paris Saint-Germain about his plan to leave the club this summer. However, Arsenal fans ought not to expect an immediate announcement of his next destination straight away, as a decision on that will not be made until after the Euros. What's more, Simons will only depart PSG on a temporary basis, and is seeking a one-year loan move. Arsenal are known to already be willing to sign Simons on loan, which could give them the edge over Premier League rivals Manchester United in the race for his signature. The Red Devils are also keen on securing the player's services, but are hoping to do so on a permanent basis. Whilst a final decision on Simon's future will not be made right now, sporting director Edu and the Arsenal recruitment staff need to already be working on a proposal for the player. Simon's is sure to generate a great deal of interest, so it is vital that the Gunners are prepared to compete on that front. The Emirates Stadium ought to represent an attractive destination for the 15-cap international. After all, Arteta has built a young, exciting team capable of competing for major honours. There is also a clear path to regular game time for Simons in North London, as he can operate on either flank as well as in a central role, meaning he would provide cover for the likes of Bukayo Saka and Gabriel Martinelli, and could also be deployed in the left eight midfield berth. However, it is worth nothing that he is not yet the finished article as a player. Arsenal legend Martin Keown is concerned that Simons lacks end product. Arsenal are primed to move for Amadou Onana with Everton seeking a quick transfer. Reports by The Sun now note that Everton are still desperate for a quick sale as Dan Freakin faces waiting several weeks to complete a takeover. Farhad Moshiri has agreed to enter into a period of exclusively with the AS Roma owner to sell his majority shareholding in the club. The wait for Freakin's takeover, however, will force Everton to raise funds before June 30 to avoid a third PSR breach. Arsenal could come to their rescue with sporting director Edu now readying a bid for Amadou Onana with Arteta interested in the Everton midfielder's transfer. Arsenal are primed to move for Onana as his transfer could fetch Everton £30 million in their race to avoid breaching PSR again. The 22-year-old stood out to the Gunners last season with his efforts from the base of Sean Dyche's midfield. But Onana has the skill for a box-to-box -box role. Onana has shown Arsenal firsthand what he can offer as an anchor, too. Darren Bent hailed the 22-year-old in February 2023 after an outstanding performance against the Gunners to help secure a 1-0 win. Onana also offered two goals in 30 Premier League games in 23 for 24. But Dean Jones noted in May that Arsenal held reservations about signing Onana as Everton were demanding £60 million for his transfer. The Gunners have scouted the Belgian for months as a long-term target. But the Toffees price tag was emerging as a sticking point for Arsenal. Everton now cutting their asking price by 50% and accepting £30 million for Onana's transfer has seemingly brought Arsenal to the table, though. But he is currently in Germany representing Belgium at Euro 2024, which may complicate the chances of securing a transfer by June 30. Well folks, those were the main news for today. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay updated on everything happening with our beloved team, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel now and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for joining us, and until the next video.